Hello everybody, this is Kyrex with another episode of This Week in Kyrex. Today is technically Tuesday, December 4th, but this is for the, the day of Wednesday, December 5th, 2018. And, uh, oh boy, has it been an eventful week. Um, let's start off with the fact that my laptop has not yet arrived. It was supposed to be here on the 4th. It is not here. And you know what? I'm okay with that because, well, sometimes things are a day late, day or two late, you know. I'll give it a couple days before I raise any complaints. What did arrive is my allegedly 2 terabyte USB stick. <clears throat> and I am still a little sketchy on it. For one thing, it is significantly smaller than any USB stick I've ever owned. And I've had, like, some 8-gig sticks that were almost twice the length of this thing that is literally smaller than my thumb. But, I plugged it into the computer, and it does say 1.90 terabytes. Now, I do have numerous <laughs> suspicions that it is, in fact, not that. Because, number one... Why would anyone want a full-on external hard drive for 60 to 100 bucks that's 2 terabytes when you can pay for a thumb drive of the same capacity, especially when you can get it from China for 7 bucks? So, right there, that's throwing off some red flags for me that this probably isn't legit. But, on the off chance that it in fact is legit... Which is, believe me, quite the off chance. <clears throat> do these go anywhere yet? They do. Okay, cool. Um, cool. I am fairly certain it is at least 17 gigabytes. How many this thing holds in all, I won't know until the new laptop arrives, because there is a program that has been recommended to me that will basically tell me how much capacity this thing has for real. And because it is a time-consuming process, I'm waiting until I have a laptop that can be left unattended all day without crashing before I do that particular investigation. Now, I have reason to believe that I might, due to differences in the ground, be able to spot clay, because I noticed it on my own playthrough, how the ground could differentiate. So I'm thinking back here. No! <laughs> I'm thinking back here. But, uh, basically if this thing is 32 gigs or more, um, even though that is significantly shy of the 2 terabytes I was promised, I will nonetheless have quite a use for it, because, uh, for one thing, despite supposedly not being compatible with the PS4, it in fact is. I tested it by uploading all of my current Shantae footage, which adds up to about 17 gigabytes, 16 according to the disc, and uh, I did it in record goddamn time. Got it. Ah, found some clay. Perfect. So it does work. Okay, so I I finally figured out how to spot clay on the map. That's gonna pay off in a big way. But uh, yeah, normally to transfer, let's say six gigabytes of data from the PS4 to my Pokeball USB stick, which is what I currently use would take about three hours. That's three hours where I can't do anything with the PlayStation at all, period. So naturally, that's not ideal at all. You know, as you would guess. However, uh, to test this thing's capacity, I transferred all 16 to 17 gigabytes of Shantae onto the hard drive in about an hour. Now, 
Um, from what I researched on the scam ones, they are able to pretend to have that by basically overriding and corrupting whatever they have, so... It's still no guarantee that that has transferred in its entirety or transferred really at all. Uh, my first main suspicion is a lot of times I would like try and transfer shit from my uh, Let's Play folders, <clears throat> and the folders would appear empty as though nothing had transferred despite me transferring for like a half an hour. Now part of that could be summed up with a crash, and part of it could just be, you know, user error. So I'm not quite willing to pass judgment until I've tested it. But if it has, say, 20 to 30 gigabytes of data, room, that is, then I am looking at, basically, I spent 7 bucks on a 32 gigabyte thumb drive that can yank video files off this PlayStation in a record clip. And that's useful to me. It's not, in any way, shape, or form, what I paid for, but it is still useful, why get rid of it? You know, don't throw away shit you still have a use for. This should be a good start. Not good enough, but it's a good start. Um, melting shit. What do I need? I think I need 20 forged iron and a certain number of clay before I can start pulling the good shit out. But anyway, uh, that is, for the moment, <coughs> the, uh, the saga of my USB stick. Here's hoping it turns out to be legit, because that would be fucking cool. But if it's not, shit happens, you know. You can't win them all. And if it is at least useful to me in that I can pull off a sizable amount of... Well, data, like it'll hold several gigabytes of data, then we're cool. We're golden. You know? Like I said, if this thing holds between 20 and 32 plus gigabytes of data, I'll keep it. I mean, I'm going to write a shitty review, but I'm going to keep it. I'm basically going to tell them, hey, you scammed me. I paid for, you know, two terabytes, even though I was pretty sure two terabytes didn't exist. Why why run the risk that it does exist, and I'm just, you know, paranoid, you know. But like, hey, I paid for two terabytes, and I got whatever this was instead. So, alright, we are going to look up. Alright, what do I need here? Let's look. At these. I need 12, 32, 48, 68, 84. Okay. So give me a minute while I do the math here. Okay, I don't have enough clay for that. Wait, maybe I do. Okay, I don't necessarily... Hold on, wait. Um... Okay, I do have enough for this. Just for funsies, let's do it like that. Cool. But yeah, I'll tell them, like, hey, I paid for two terabytes and you gave me, 
you know, 48 gigabytes instead. Which is still a very useful stick to have, but it's not what I fucking paid for. But, uh, my aunt was told to get me a, uh, a double terra external hard drive for Christmas. She hasn't ordered it yet, and I have told her to put it on hold. Like, don't order it yet, but don't necessarily spend the money yet either, you know? Because she basically told me, well, what do you want if you don't want that? And I told her basically some cookware, like I'd like a blender, because I don't have one. And I would love to have another one of those copper frying pans, because that was really, really fun. Not fun, but, you know, useful to me as a keep as a person who cooks from time to time. But yeah, it was, uh, I would like a new one, because mine's a little old, and I don't necessarily have the means to, uh, bake it. Because you have to bake it every six months, and I need to start, you know, saving that information. So, one way or the other, I'm going to have a double tera worth of data. It's just, will that double tera be, you know, from a, um, where the fuck am I? Will that double tera be from a stick, or from an actual external, or what? That's the question we find ourselves asking. Okay, let's chop these out of the way then. So, I finally saw Zootopia. I have a friend online who I try to make it a habit to watch stuff with on a regular basis. It's been a while since we have watched anything. And I basically said, hey, we need to watch cartoons. And the response was, well, what do you want to watch? I'm like, well, I'm still missing some stuff in my Disney catalog, as it were. I haven't seen Brave, I haven't seen Zootopia, and if you want to go old school, I haven't seen The Black Cauldron. And so Zootopia was chosen, and it's a really good movie. I've heard that for a lot of people, it tends to complete, complete, compete with Moana as like their best movie, and I don't really see it on that level. But then again, Moana is one of my favorite Disney movies that we've had, so... But it's a damn good movie. I enjoyed it. It's something I would watch again. And it was a lot of fun. But yeah, I've got the Double Terra coming. Or maybe it's already here. And even if that stick does work, there's a chance I might have my aunt get it anyway. You know, just to have another Double Terra. Because that would basically give me six terabytes across three devices for storage. And that is... Tremendously useful. Um, so, yeah, that's that arrived uh, today. That is to say, Tuesday. Yesterday. You know, yesterday as of 13 minutes ago. But uh, yesterday, I had to go into Largo for a very busy day. I uh, had to go get my bike fixed because my pedal tried to fall off again via the bar. And that is a pain in the ass, as you can imagine. Oh no. Does this need a... No, what needs the... This needs the anvil. Okay. I'm about to say, do these need the anvil? No, not yet. But, um... Yeah, I had to... My, my pedal tried to fall off. What the hell? Oh, the rocket launcher stock. Okay. The uh, pedal tried to fall off, so I basically told my aunt, I'm like, hey, I have to come up there anyway. If I bring my bike, will your husband let me use his socket set? Because it's just a matter of finding the right socket, fitting it to the bike, and just crank, crank, crank it done. You know, even I could do that. It's just my friend who usually does the repairs, his sockets don't fit. They're too fat for the the, uh, the bar. But, after a little while, my uncle actually got it fixed for me. That worked out pretty damn well, actually. Um, forged iron. Did I, did I not? 
Oh, I, I drastically underestimated how much of this shit I needed, didn't I? You know what? Fuck it. We're gonna, gonna take all this, put it in here. Like so. Until I get what I actually fucking need. So yeah, um... He, uh, he fixed that up for me. I also had to uh, visit my mom. We hung out for a very brief amount of time. I got dinner. That was nice. Came home, got home with like a half an hour to leave before I had to leave for Pokemon. So I just kind of sat around and watched YouTube videos for a little bit. And then got off my ass, went down to Pokemon, did my thing. Um, the Steel-type team made its debut today. As did one of my uh, support Pokemon. I have an Oranguru now. It uh, it could use a little work. It's it's not so much the Pokemon itself as the fact that in order to properly use it, I have to have a partner with good Pokemon. And the way we do our multis, it's really hard to match up. I'll get into what this is in a minute. But it's really hard to match up with someone and figure out what they're using and so on. So, uh... See how that could be better. I'll try it. I need to double of those. My mistake. But anyway, um... But the Steel-type team uh, went two for two. And we had a new one arrive, uh, a girl, I'm thinking. Um, <clears throat> it was kind of hard to tell because, you know, when you're young kids, the voices can be kind of hard to distinguish between boys and girls at times. And the, I'm tentatively saying girl, wore what looked like a turban. Not like a hijab, but like an actual turban thing. That's what it looked like. So I couldn't see hair. I couldn't see as much of the face. But that kid was good. They only had Pokemon Y. So I basically had to use some of my cast-offs from Alpha Sapphire. Which didn't leave me with a lot. But I made good use of what I had. And it was a struggle. Like I was on the ropes three or four times during that fight. Where I'm like, okay, I'm going to lose to the new kid today. <laughs> But I, I cinched the win, and uh, sadly my two Steel-type battles probably won't count because they finished after the thing. I'll, I'll ask the uh, organizer about that. One moment. Anyway, voice will resume shortly. Sorry.
Hey everybody, Kyrix back here. You may notice that this is a weird break from this. Uh, what happened was I had been in the record middle of recording this week in Kyrix, and uh, before this break, you'll notice there was a long stretch of me being silent. It's because we actually have a new roommate. My roommate's cousin now lives with us, and he came in from work and. I'm just kind of self-conscious about vocally recording shit with other people in the room who are not part of my recording community as it is. So I just kind of clammed up and it became fairly clear that he was just going to hang around for a little bit. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll just get to it later. And later turned into tomorrow. <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, it's Thursday morning now. Yep, Thursday morning, 3.42. So a little over 24 hours from my previous attempt at recording. So, yeah, I, I talk about some things. I have uh, Subnautica now. It is a lot of fun. It's also a source of great frustration. <laughs> I'm trying to find stuff. What happened was I actually had a uh, playthrough beforehand of it. And uh, my game crashed... And I was in the midst of things. Uh, I had uh, I had not saved in like three or four hours, and when that crash happened, it kind of butt fucked my progress in a big way. And at that point, I just said, "Fuck it," you know. It's just I, I don't want to redo all the shit that I done because I had a base, and I had literally relocated my entire base and everything in it, rebuilt it bit by bit, and moved it to a better location, and then the game crashed, I'm like, no, I have to do all that shit over again, fuck it, I'm not doing it. So I just started over, and I'm trying to find, like, the scanning room again, which is something I had before, and no longer do. But it's a lot of fun, it's a source of great frustration for me, mostly... It's the crashing thing. It's crashed like five or six times, which, to be fair, it is a new game. And we now live in an era where gaming companies don't really give a shit about game quality the way they used to. It's just how that is, you know. I'm not saying people don't give a shit at all, but, I mean... In the age of DLC and patches and shit like that, why even bother releasing a completely finished game when you can release three quarters of a game and then yeah you know, I'm going to release like two thirds of this game and then the rest of it is just going to happen via patches whenever someone finds something broken so probably for the next month I'm going to experience a great number of crashes so, uh, before I went quiet, I said I'd explain this. The game is called Seven Days to Die, and from the research I've done, that refers to two things. One being, if you get bit by a zombie, you have a chance of being infected, and if the infection is allowed to run its course for seven days, you fucking die. The other thing is, every seven days... Um... For some reason, well, I know why, it's because it's, you know, the morning of the eighth day, but every seven days, the sky goes red, and the zombies go ape shit. Like, they will spawn at ridiculous rates, they will be immensely aggressive, and I think even if you have zombie run turned off, they will still run at you. So, that's a thing. Alright, pickaxe. Shovel. Wait. But, uh, yeah, that's that's what the red sky is all about. Uh, I have zombies turned off, so it's not an issue. 
but basically every seven days of gameplay, Sky's gonna get real fucking creepy and I'm gonna be listening to thunder noises against my will. Just how things work. Um, my laptop at this point still has not arrived, but I finally have an update on it. It will arrive allegedly by the 10th. I think it was in Massachusetts last I checked, so I'm in Florida, you do the math. You know. Um. Yeah, uh, things are going reasonably well. Uh, the addition of the new roommate means that I now have an extra 50 bucks a month to spend, which ironically is going straight into the laptop, which means I'm effectively paying the same rent I was before, at least for the next three months. Um, although this month I had 50 bucks extra to work with, almost, because uh, the roommate sent me to, I want to say Winn-Dixie, to get several things for the house, like trash bags, um, bars of soap, things like that, uh, in preparation of the new roommate arriving. And when he did that, um, he didn't have the money on him, so he just had me take it out of my account, which means that, uh, rather than pay me back, he just said take it out of what I owe him. So, that basically came out of the rent. And I'm totally cool with that, because that's really good for me, actually, the fact that I had just that much less rent to pay that, that month. And on top of that, I have put his kitten on my Chewy account, Chewy being the uh, pet food or pet supply website, like I can get food, litter, um, oh, what's it called, uh, toys. All sorts of pet gear. Just cool shit. And, uh... Because I've, I've been talking to him about it for a while. Like, hey, you should... We should put T'Challa's food on my Chewy account so that we don't have to worry about sending me up for wet food like once every other week because you... He, he has me get a certain amount and then he keeps giving him extra, which his cat, his choice, you know. And he was saying originally, oh, I, I, I only want to give it to him once a week, and then he'd give it to him a lot. It's like, oh, the vet said three times a week. So I ordered a 24-pack for him, and then he's like, I kind of want to feed him wet food every day. I'm like, oh, well, let's get the 48-pack. That gives you one every single day and six extra, you know, for when he's especially good. But yeah, basically, that took my bill this month to him from $500 down to 450 and change. But the funny thing is, uh, my bath, uh, I discussed this with one of my friends, I actually get alarmed, like legitimately fucking freaked out, if I have money in the bank account. And it kind of bothers me that that's the case, because that basically says, I have resigned myself to the fact that I am goddamn poor. And, uh... Yeah, basically, I'm looking at this thing, and I'm like, why does it say I've got $52 or whatever? I should not have this much money with all the extra shit I spent. Because I spend a lot on stuff like I got. Subnautica, I went... I treated myself to McDonald's at one point, you know, I did a lot of shit, just extra because I had money this month. Some money this month. And I'm doing the math, I'm like, what the fuck? It should not be coming up this way. And then I realized what the problem was, and this is almost embarrassing to admit. The problem was I took the money that I owed the roommate off of the rent I owed him but didn't subtract it from my actual bank account. Meaning, I basically didn't track the fact that I spent the money. And when I factored that in, I came to the much more reasonable amount of $3. Which is far closer to what I should be having. But, uh... I originally had this really fucked up, convoluted plan to get Subnautica. 
because I saw on Gamefly, because I decided to check the store and a couple other things uh, around Black Friday, just prepping for that point in time when I would eventually get a new video game, because every three months I get a $5 coupon, and for one day every six months I have two months coupons on the same at the same time. Actually, it's more like two or three days, but originally it was one day. And that's the day that I tend to get a video game. Whether I need it or not, or whether I want it or not, I get a video game, because why let it go to waste? And I was looking, and I'm like, oh shit, Subnautica's getting released on the PS4. I've been wanting to play that game for a year now, actually. And my... I've been told my new laptop probably won't be able to handle it either. So I'm like, fuck it, but it's on the PS4 now, so... We have a PS4. And I want to point out, it is not at all optimized for the PS4. I can't count how many times, especially when you're surfacing from, you know, hitting the surface of the water, how many times it is froze. Not permanent freeze, but freeze like, oh, we're going to lag for a second while we adjust to the fact that you just broke the surface of the water, you know. So, yeah. But, um, so my plan was going to be, oh, this release is on December 4th, which, by the way, got pushed back December 6th, at least via, you know, Gamefly. And I'm thinking, okay, I've got uh, Jurassic World Evolution. I'm, uh, I've about milked the fun I'm going to milk out of this game. I've decided against doing the LP after just one episode because it just didn't flow right. And, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the mailbox now. And it'll go into Gamefly, and they'll hold it for a couple days. And then Subnautica will release. And since it'll release, uh, since I'll get it in the mail, it'll then be a used game so I can use my coupons. So I'm getting the used game price and $10 off. Cha-ching. You know? And then I go to check Gamefly, and sure enough, uh, Digimon World next order has been shipped to me. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? So I contact Gamefly to raise hell with them, and they're like, oh, yeah, we don't we don't have that policy when it comes to games that have not yet been released. And I'm like, well, fuck. So, a new plan was hatched that the day before, uh, basically the day before the, um, the game would be released, like, the night before, like, say, 11 p.m. December 5th, because it's supposed to release there on the 6th. I would log into Gamefly and up my account to two games a month, which would cost me $7.50. And then in the morning when they ship it out, well, they'd have to ship Subnautica. So my original plan would go through. And that was the plan up until the 4th when I happened to go on the PlayStation Store just to check, like, when my new games would release. It turns out they released then. Uh, one of my new games is Soma, by the way, which I've heard vague things about. Basically, I've heard it's a good game, and I've heard it's a scary game, and that's as far as I know. I could watch Let's Plays of it, and I might, because I don't yet foresee myself doing a Let's Play of it, because uh, chances are it's full of cutscenes that are going to be edited out by the PlayStation itself. And I don't want to do a capture card, even if I can get my capture card to work, because that will record any trophies I get. And I happened to notice the other day that the trophies actually list my name. Like, my name. Not the Kyrex 82, but my first and last name. And I don't want to deal with that shit. Nor do I want to go into a video editor and black that shit out. Because, quite frankly, uh, even splicing audio into a thing, which I'm going to do for Shantae, is super technical for someone of my skill level. So, I'm just not going to fuck with it at all, really. And, um... And, yeah... I just got this thing and I've already fucking broken it. Gotta love how that works, right?
Hey, a mining tool's a mining tool. Um, anyway, uh, oh, that's why I'm not running, because my stamina's fucked. Okay. Anyway, um, so yeah, I basically happened to notice that the PlayStation Store already had Subnautica. I was, uh, gonna look it up and see if there was, like, a pre-release price, and it turns out it was already released on PlayStation Store, I'm like, $29.99. I could get it now, but then my whole plan goes up in smoke, and I'm like, wait a second, it's probably going to be a whole lot cheaper to just buy it outright than it is to fuck around with that convoluted crap I was going to do. So I did. I just bought it. And uh, for those wondering, my $10 game, uh, I had it narrowed down to a couple things, one of which was going to be Breath of Fire 1 on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, just the game, not like the box and shit which would have been $22. And, uh... I opted not to do that because I didn't want to spend a whole lot of extra money. And the other game that was on my list was Hyper Dimension Neptunia. Which, again, also just the disc. Uh, let's get... Let's get five of them. So, I've got that coming, and I'll probably do a Let's Play on that eventually. Uh, it'll be a mostly blind run, because I have, in fact, played the game a little bit back in the past. I don't remember what made me stop, but uh, I did stop playing it for a while. I did enjoy the game, it's just something, something else caught my attention, or I don't fucking know. But, uh... I own the game now, I don't physically possess it, but it will be here soon enough. There we go. And uh, that'll be fun, because I like the game. So, I've covered that, I covered Pokemon, I covered the laptop. It's just generally pretty good stuff, I guess. That'll be fun. Oh, also, apparently I lost my wireless headphones. <laughs> so, yeah, that's fun. Uh, Basically, I took them off, or they fell out of my head, somewhere in Largo. I hope it's either in my aunt's car or in her bathroom, because then I can get it back. But odds are it's looking like I'm going to have to spend five bucks next month. Uh, at this point, I still do not have uh, a say-so whether or not... I'm going to use the, uh, have my aunt get me, uh, what's it called, uh, the external or something else. And like I said, i got to wait for the laptop arrive, to arrive to know that for sure. But, uh, yeah, I'm in the process. Hopefully I'll know fairly soon. Getting a little sleepy. A little sleepy and a lot cold. So anyway, I'm just gonna cut it here, because that's about 40 minutes altogether once I splice it. See you next week, everyone. Bye-bye.